Uh, hello everyone. Today I'm going to uh, explain how to upload the archive. Uh, this is a very like a common question for many like a uh, young researcher and uh, young students, and when they are just uh, start to write a few papers. Uh, this question has been asked by many like uh, students uh, under like uh, in the comments of my Bilibili and YouTube channel, and also many professors and their students uh, asked me like uh, actually make a video to teach people. Or tutorial to teach students to how to to understand like how to upload the archive. In this video, I will use like a recent paper written by written with Josh Elman, and to show you guys how to like uh, upload the uh, upload the archive. Uh, usually when I, when I was doing something, I usually like to uh watch some YouTube video when I was writing papers. So today, like I'm going to like uh, uh, watch a YouTube video about like uh, Apple Vision Pro during upload this archive. Let me start this video. So the first step to upload the archive is I need you need to download your uh, folder from your overleaf and compile locally. Look at this button, and if you click source here, and you will download a file into your download here. And uh, then what you should do is. Uh, you need to go to this folder and uh, go to that uh, CD, that uh, folder. And now you need to run three, that three like uh, command line instructions. The first instruction is PDF latex main dot text. This is the first time you compile latex. The second instruction is called bib text main dot aux, and this is trying to create a bib file. And after you do that, you still need to run like a uh, main text trans. This is the first time. And uh, this is the second time. So there are some reasons you have to run the trans. So just remember to do it trans. Let me clean up some trash here. Okay, now once you compile the file, and uh, what you should do, you can go to the archive their main page to create a submission. Here is a button called Start New Submission. Let's click it to see what happened. I'm just click it. And now you need to confirm your information is correct. And then you need to read this uh, uh, words. And this is saying like, uh, if you are under 18 years old, you basically have to ask an older co-author to submit the work. So essentially, if all of your co-author is between 18 years old, it seems you cannot like submit archive paper. Let me click the this button. And then you just need some read some archive policy. I will be reading this so many times, so this time I will just skip it and just uh, click accept and return to submission. Next, there is something about authorship. You need to pick one of the two. Either you are author or not. Uh, this time, clearly, I'm author of the paper, so I will pick the first one. Now you need to pick the lessons. There are like six different choice. I also don't understand the difference between them, but usually senior people tell me either pick three or four is good. So I usually just pick three or four. Let me pick the third one this time. Next, you need to choose like the archive subject class. Usually, if you are a student, when you upload to archive, make sure you check with your PhD advisor or your or some professor in the paper to make sure like uh, they, they understand which like category you will choose and let them double check for you. Don't pick it yourself. So this paper, our, this time, like our paper is mainly focused on showing like algorithm and harness for computer uh, computing attention gradient. So I will just uh, choose like uh, the data structure and algorithm category this time. Okay, let me click uh, continue here. Now you go to the next page. You are going to like upload your file here. Okay. Once you go to this page, what you need to do is you need to upload all your files in here. So if you go to choose button, you will see all the files here. But uh, if you upload one by one, it's very slow. Many years ago, archive only allowed you to upload each file one by one. But recently they got changed. You can actually submit a zip file. So now let's do some smart thing. Let's go to each folder. And what we are going to do is we will select all the text file. 
then select all the tiles text file. So did we select all? No, there are still main text, related text, and preliminary text. Okay, now we get all the text. But is this enough? This is not enough because you also need the bib file. But note that you, sh you should not uh, select this ref bib, you should select to actually main.bbl file. And now let's just uh, compress this into one folder. Once you compress them, let's go to the archive main page and choose the files and uh, choose the zip file and uh, doing upload. And once you upload the files, there is a button on the right-hand side. You should click Continue Process Files. That's waiting. It takes some time. OK, now it's saying it's OK. You can preview it, but I will preview later. So it's actually usually if you say submission process, OK, then it's fine. You can just ignore the war warnings. It's not very important. Let's continue. So next, we need to fill our title here. So I already pre-copied my title in a text file. So I will just like uh, copy my title here. And then like you need to put your like authors here. And you can either use a comma or and. Usually I prefer a comma. So let me just uh, copy my co-author and my name here. Done. Usually if you are not sure, make sure you Google your co-author names and also your names, make sure they are giving the right name. And next step is you are just uh, like a uh, uh, you just need to copy your abstract here. Let me just copy the abstract here. Usually, if abstract is short, you don't need to short. You don't need to cut it. But if abstract is too long, you need to like cut it. I think they only allow like a two thousand characters at most. And there are some comments usually I don't add it unless the paper already accepts somewhere. I'll put a conference name, for example, like a SML, like a twenty ten, for example, or uh, NeurIPS twenty nineteen. Something like this. But this time, I will just put nothing. And also report number, journal reference, also all these things I will not pick. You already just this three are enough. Let's go to the next step. Save and continue. Uh, I'm clicking, it doesn't work. Okay, now it works. Sorry, it takes too slow. And now, like uh, you can see, like uh, your uh, this archive title, and you can your author say you can check like your archive title if it match your paper. Just a briefly read the fan green complexity of green system computation for training large language models. Okay, and also are correct, and abstract looks correct. Okay, now this is something very funny. Like uh, basically, sometimes even if you select your own like a uh, primary category. Archive will choose something else. So this time he seems like uh, uh, forcing me to choose like uh, CS learning, machine learning as the main category. So usually if he suggests this way, I will I will just do it. Follow his suggestion, okay? Okay, I just do it, I just follow it. Then like my data structure and algorithm become like the second category, okay? In addition, you also can choose some other uh, second category. So for example, let me choose something. Our paper also have a complexity lower bound because it was, our harness is assuming ETH, strong ETH. So let me just choose like a computational complexity. You can just click a button, edit. And in addition, our things also have like a related to a large, large language model. Maybe we can say a computation and the language. Okay. Okay, that's almost all the like uh, categories I want to choose. I think you you can choose one main category and four like a uh, cross list here. You, this time I only choose three. You can choose any number from zero to four here you want. And the last step, you also need to view the PDF because I never watch it. So before you watch it, uh, check it. You cannot submit. Let me just click it, okay? Let's briefly check. Everything looks pretty good. We have authorship author and the affiliation, this is a table of contents, and this is a citation. I will just briefly scan each page and to see if there are some like a crazy thing happens or question mark. If nothing happened, then we can just uh, finish this time, this time tutorial. Okay, looks pretty good. This paper is 30 pages and I don't see any 
seriously. Let me search like question mark, maybe. Okay, there are one, two, three, four, five. They are all very reasonable things. So we don't need to worry anymore. I think this is done. And now like if you go back to this page, it's still saying this thing. What you need to just refresh this page. Just refresh this page. Okay, then you'll see something different. Okay, this is here, engine is red, no, it's green. And as you can see, like uh, now you have a click button. Okay. So don't don't worry about uh, clicking this button because even like you click this button, this will take another day, at least one day or like 12 hours to really like show up like on archive sometime. So feel free to click it. So now right now I check everything is good. So I will just uh, like uh, click it. Okay, now you can see this stage become processing, right? So basically once you click the, the submit button, and uh, at some point, like for example, within five minutes, you will receive an email from your archive. It's saying like your your submission has been like accepted. It will take a few hours or a few days to process and to release it. So sometimes it take like a six, uh, like some hours. Sometimes it take a one or two days. It depends on which day you are submitting like archive things. So usually there are seven days a week, but archive only re release things on five days. Not all seven days. Okay, this is this is status is still processing. Let me refresh again to see what happened. Now you see it's become submitted, right? And now let's go back to our email. And uh, you see we have a new email here. And we get the ePrint here, you see. And this is indicating like uh, your archive paper will be announced at which time and any time before you update this time, it won't delay the like a releasement, okay? And also you can see your like author and this one. You already you should uh, like forward this email to your course, let them double check. And then that's uh, right now, like everything looks good. Okay, I think now like the tutorial of like uh, teaching like uh, archive is finished here. And uh, right now, like I only use like 12 minutes. I haven't finished watching the Apple Pro like uh, thing. I uh, just want to let you guys know, like uh, uh, usually submitting archive is taking a lot of time. If you are the first time, it may not be so easy. You may, you may face a lot of bugs and mistakes. And don't worry, you should ask your senior people to help you. And also like uh, uh, my English is not very good, especially my pronunciation. The reason why I speak English because like uh, many of the of uh, my friends they are like uh, they don't understand Chinese, so I hope my video for this video archive video is also could be useful for them. Okay, thank you everyone.